Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm gonna do a get ready with me and I'm gonna use as many cream products as I can think of that I have. So, let's get started. For our primer, I'm gonna use the First Light Priming Filter that I got, I think I got it in a play box. But it's very glowy and I thought we need glowy. But I'm also gonna use this Revlon pore correcting primer just a little bit on my nose and these lines and these lines right here anyway let's just do it right so I'm gonna use this purple stuff first which is very runny and this is the Becca and I have found that it is it's really nice but it seems like when I powder, it's gone. And I can't not powder. So, if that's what you're thinking, I can't do it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of this Revlon. See, just a tiny, tiny bit. Because I'm only gonna put it on my nose and right here. Maybe just between my eyes a little bit because I have a lot of wrinkles there. Because I frown. I don't mean to, but I do. And then I'm just going to barely pull it down in here because if it's going to peel, that's what it's going to do it. For our foundation today, I'm going to mix my Lancome Regener Renergy. And then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this Lancome Tent Idol. Somebody said that they. That's what they do, they mix those two, and I just have a sample of that. Hopefully there's enough here mixed, because I won't be able to get the same color if I mix again. It looks kind of pink on my hand. I don't remember it looking pink, but we shall see. I don't think I mixed enough. I know I didn't. But this is going to be like a super simple look. Like if I was trying to run out the door and I just wanted a little something. That's the look we're doing today. I'm going to use the creaseless. It's not as heavy a coverage and I think that it would, if I put on a heavier coverage with this sheer foundation, it would just not look good. So we're just gonna use the creaseless. This stuff is so thick. Cover that little spot right there. And that spot that I spotted And we're not going to go with a whole lot of eye stuff, so let's just use that. Cover up all those veins. spot okay now let's go in with our contour we're going to use the Jordana sculpt and glow and light for contouring this brush
Now we are going to put on bronzer a little bit. Just a little bit higher than that. Should have used contour down here, but I forgot, so I'll just use the bronzer. And I'm going to use the same brush to blend it. Okay, now I'm going to go over this with, first I'm going to set my under eyes, which I didn't do because I didn't want to use any powder until after I had put all my, oh, I forgot to do the blush. We're going to do cream brush, blush, and this is a Tarte product, and it's very old, and it looks like I squished it into the lid. Um, it's Blushing Bride, and I don't know how to make it go up. Oh, you just push. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little line right there, line right there. Ooh, that's very, very pink. Dip. See, it shears out pretty good. I knew that. You guys probably thought I was going to look like Baby Jane, huh? kind of do, huh? There. No worries. Okay, now I'm going to use my powder under my eyes and then set the rest of my face, which is going to take our glow away, but that's okay. Now we're going to go in with our Laura Mercier, set the rest of my face, including my eyelids. I don't have any cream highlight, I don't think. Too late now anyways, but I just thought of that. All right, let's go into the eyebrows. Let's do them. I'm gonna use my Cabral. Start on the outside. I was gonna get that eyebrow kit from Benefit because I really like Benefit eyebrow products. Um, but it was $59, and I just couldn't do it. I still might, but that time when I was there, I was like, nope, that's too much. I have to think about it when it's that much. Because it's like when you get those kits, you're probably not going to use everything in it, and then it might not be worth the price. I'm not saying it's not, because I didn't get it. But what I'm saying is, when it's that pricey, I need to think about it more. Because I am an impulse buyer, and I'm trying not to be. Okay, next eyeshadow. What shall we use? I was just going to use a very light eyeshadow. Because I already set my eyes, so I was just going to put a little bit of a shadow in there. And I'm going to use this Rimmel Nude palette. And I'm going to use this color right here, the third one. Which is just like a barely there transition color. Which is probably all I'm going to use, because this is an out the door look. A little 
little shadow down there. Lift that corner just a little. I really want to get some lift there. All right, that's all I'm going to do for shadow. Just that, because this is out the door, remember? i got to wash that brush. So, come on, guys. I am now going to use my brown liner from Benefit. Oh, wait. I am going to push line with the tattoo, studio tattoo from Maybelline with brown. This is brown. I just think it looks so much better when I push line first. And then I'm going to take my flat brush and just smudge that back and forth so that it, there's no skin showing. Just to spread it out between the lashes. Now I'm going to take my Benefit Roller Liner and pull these eyeballs up. So I'm going to put my lashes on, I mean I'm going to put my mascara on, I'm using the Sills Lash Boost Primer because I think that when I use the primer it's easier to get it off at night. And I'm lazy at night, I am so done, I just want it to come off right off. That's why I am not wearing lashes anymore very often. Plus the fact that my lashes are good now, but also because I'm, it takes forever to get the glue out, and at night I'm just not into that. All right, now I'm going to use my Laura Geller Lash Boss, which is my favorite one, and I'm just going to put, I'm going to take the side that doesn't have long bristles and put it on the tips of my lashes and then I'm going to turn it over to the brushy side and then do the wiggle thing and pull, pull it up through I'm going to go back to the little side and do the bottom. Okay, if you guys hear a noise, that's my husband sanding. He decided to sand right now, working on that door still. Now I'm going to put on lipstick. I think I'm going to put on this cushion lipstick. It's my favorite. This is the uh, Crimson Feels, I believe. Yep, Crimson Feels from, this is a Revlon Cushion Lip Tint. Alright, that's it. This is our look for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Share this on all your social media. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!